Welcome back to the Carbon Market Coliseum. Well, Carl, you know what? Last week I absolutely smashed you. <sighs> yeah, so, I got trounced. Yeah, so this week I got myself a mightier opponent, a mystery <laughs> mythic champion. Well, Mr. He's he's on the thumbnail. But oh. If you didn't have time to look at the thumbnail. It is a mystery, we might find that soon. Yeah, we'll find out soon, but for now, if you want to see any specific decks, leave your suggestions in the comments below and we will pick next week's decks from the comments. Yes, also, if you guys want more of this content, especially if you want us to eventually move it to twice a week or get other guests as well, please subscribe. It directly affects our reactions to this and how much time and effort we can put into these. But in the meantime, let's find out who this mystery mythic champion is. Let's find out. Hi, I'm Toffel. And I'm gonna play Jamie today, it's gonna be a treat. So I'm the Mythic Champion and I have three GP Top 8s and I don't think Jamie can handle that. And now we're gonna see what it looks like. To be fair, I didn't play Modern for a while. I had stuff going with Standard and Historic, but this is actually the first time I played Modern since a long, long time, probably even the Mythic Championship. I'm playing against my good friend Jamin, and also I probably should choose something that is not very complicated. So I was going to look through the deck, and then I said, screw it all, we're playing Lantern. We're gonna hurt him really bad. All right, today Toffel is my opponent, so one more reason to bring my A game. And for that, I went to last week's YouTube comments and picked Crashing Footfalls as my deck. The deck is basically structured around cascading into Crashing Footfalls to create two 4-4 Rhino tokens, and Ooh. hopefully those 4-4 Rhino tokens are strong enough to beat Toffel. The deck is usually hella expensive at like 1,500 euro, but on card market, you get the whole thing with the shopping wizard for 1,181 euro. The deck usually is about 746 euros, but with the shopping wizard on card market, it's only 407 euros. So I play a lot of weird interactive spells like the adventures like Bone Crusher Giant and Brazen Borrower because my Cascade is only supposed to hit Crashing Footfall so I can get like 10 power into play on turn 3 with the Shard Disable. So Lantern is kind of a very interesting deck as it's not winning over attacking the opponent with creatures or really doing anything useful. It just prevents the opponent from doing anything useful by having Lantern of Insight in play and effects that take away the top cards of library. Because with Lantern, we always play with the top card revealed. And with the effects that mill one card, I can basically choose whatever Jamin draws. So I let them keep all the lands, all the useless spells, all the creatures they can detect because of my bridge, and I will draw the useless spells. And eventually, I mean, one Zaga can deal the job, or you can fetch something called winning doesn't matter. The important part is not losing, and definitely Jamin not winning. The rest will be taken care of. All right, Toffel, welcome to the Card Market Studio. Yeah. Right. Here we are, and I just won the die roll. Yeah, of course you well, did. I'm gonna go first. It was rigged. Rigged. It was not rigged. Well, that's what you would say. Yeah, somebody who rigged someone, it. Yeah, that's what someone who rigged it would say. This hand has way too many lands and not enough action, so I'm gonna mulligan it to see what I can find for six cards. First hand, already pretty dicey. We do have a Karn, and we do have an Ancient Story that's gonna find one of those pieces for one mana, but only having one really doesn't do anything. You kinda need both, and I don't even have a bridge to protect myself. So I can see going to six on this one, but I have an Inquisition, so I'm gonna see what Jamin is playing. I have a Cage, which could stop some shenanigans, and he mulligans to six. We don't like mulligan at all, so let's keep it. I will mulligan this. That's very good, like, that you mulligan. This hand, Still not enough action, I think, but I really don't want to go down to five cards on the play. So, yeah, let's keep it and I'll put away that third Bone Crusher Giant because really, who needs that? All right, yeah, I'll, I'll keep that one and I'll put this card on the bottom. And I will play a tapped Triumph and pass the turn. <laughs> Good land. I'll draw. Ooh, caliente. Uh, I'll play Druid Marsh and Inquisition of Cozy like you. Facing a discard spell when I'm already on six cards, ugh, that's kind of tough. I really don't want to see that. All right, there you go. Mm, good stuff. I'll choose Brazen Borrow. All right, that one's you gone. You can keep whatever this is. Yeah, I'll, keep, I'll keep the rest. <laughs> the, the standard cards. <laughs> I, I am playing standard. Yeah, yeah. All right, Untap. Yes. I'll keep drawing. Puffle taking the Brazen Borrow makes me feel like I'm in a really bad spot because that just makes me feel like he doesn't care about the Bone Crusher Giants and I have two of those. Play an island mm -hmm. and pass the trust. Oh, untap and draw. Um, 
I'll play Ancient Stirring Stick. Okay, that, that sounds like Tron Topple. <laughs> Maybe, you know? Let's see what we have here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh. How quickly are we gonna die? Uh, I can tell you, you're gonna die very quickly. In this case, I, mean. I don't believe it. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> <I>, All right. <laughs> and I'll play an Orza Saga. Mm. With I think one... this is the first Orza Saga that we've had on the Card Market Studio here. It's also my very first Orza Saga I ever played. Nice. So, so, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh, a bridge. A bridge. Uh, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like my Bone Crusher Giants are. Mm. Very, Very good. good right now. Uh, end of turn, I'll Bone Crusher Giant you. Okay. So this goes on to an adventure, and you, you go down to ATL. Yeah. Draw. Mm. Mm, the forest, I feel. You, you love to see it. Yeah, you love to see it. It's very, the forest is very good in my situation. Well, play Misty Rainforest. Oh. I'll, I'll crack it, go down to 19. The tax. The tax. I'll get a forest. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It won't be a forest. No. Fire Ooh, eyes, also spicy. very strong. I'll, uh, I'll cast my Bone Crusher Giant from that adventure. Uh, all right, untap. I'll draw another lantern. Then this goes to two. All right. We'll play another Blooming Marsh. And hmm. between the bridge and the pieces, I do have the other saga for tokens, but I'm pretty sure I just want to play the bridge, be safe by not getting attacked by the Bone Crusher Giants since Infinity, and then just slowly play Karn, maybe destroy the lands, maybe just look for something to regenerate my artifacts, and just take away every possible draw step you can have to win this game. So we're gonna play a bridge. So how many cards do you have in hand right now? Four. Four, well that's convenient. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's very convenient. You go. Oh, that's really bad. I will untap. I will draw. Let's see what's below. Another bone crusher giant. Can you believe it? It's giant tribal. Yeah. All the bones that will be crushed. There will be so many crushed bones. Yeah. Especially right now, since I'm going to attack you for four. I will take it to 14. Down to 14 you go. Um, I will play an untapped demons. Mm -hmm. Down to 17. All right. And then I'll pass the turn. Uh, I will draw. And then in my draw step, I will make a construct. Okay. Yep. Then in my main phase, this is gonna happen. To everybody's like surprise, it's gonna be this. Codex Shredder. Yes. That's annoying. Then we have a look at another yet a blooming marsh. All right, do you see like the synergy between like having blooming marsh and land? That, that I, I do. Blooming marsh and green and black spells are very strong. All right, and then we're gonna play a ghost quarter. Sure. And mm, another lantern of insight. Okay. That works. That works. And now it's your turn. Uh, I've. I feel like I'm in a very bad spot, Tuffle. Can you believe it? Yeah, why not? We'll we'll throw another Bone Crusher Giant in here. Yes, I'll go down to 12. You're at 12. I will untap. I'll draw another Bone Crusher Giant. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's below. Force, force of Negation, all right. Um, how many cards do you have in hand, Tuffle? Three. Is four greater than three? That is a correct statement, Mr. I studied math. I will then play a tab breeding pool and strong. I guess I guess we can get another bone crusher giant from the adventure zone. Can't harm. Yeah, go ahead. So now it's interesting. I don't think force of negation is that bad as long as I keep a bridge. So I will mill myself. Sure. Spire. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna take that spire just to be sure. Hmm. Well, that's that's quite nasty. Uh, we'll play the spy of industries and play a corn. Corn. 
Well, it's not the good coin, but it's, it's what we got, you know? <laughs> okay, sure. And with that corn, I can actually allow myself to look for something since I have two cards. I'm not quite sure what to get. I'm pretty sure the game is pretty safe. I could get a liquid in the coating and just start blowing up lands because why not? But I can also gain a crucible and then replay the other saga from the graveyard just to make sure we have enough lantern of insights, just to make sure we have enough of those mill effects. And then eventually, of course, we can make tokens and then block more of the creatures. All right, I will go and find a crucible horn. And it's your turn and you are allowed to draw that force of negation. I will draw that force of negation. And the next card down is a shardless agent. At this moment, I would like to inflict myself my first boredom counter. I, I'm not sure if you know how boredom counters work on this show, but when I, I can self-inflict them, you can't inflict them on me, only indirectly by boring me. Mm -hmm. If I, when I reach three boredom counters, I lose. It's like infected. It's oh, just, okay, okay. Yeah. So I'm winning. That's what you're telling uh, me. I mean, life total wise, I'm winning. Very much, Toffel. <laughs> so, right. not sure about that, but with that boredom counter on me, uh, I will pass the turn. All right, we're on tap. We're not gonna use Codex Shredder because I like what you're drawing. And I also like what I'm drawing, so I'm gonna draw this and show you another card. We basically set it up. We have Lantern, we have the uh, mill effect for one, we have a bridge, nothing's gonna hurt us now. We're just cruising the victory. I can already see Jamin conceding in his hand. Life is beautiful. All right, it looks like a bad defeat here. We're gonna look what's up. Uh, I guess I have to force a communication. Mm, I pretty much assumed. We're gonna play a Crucible of Worlds. That's a surprise. Where'd that one come from? And then we'll play another Saga, because that's always fun. Uh, yeah. I'm very satisfied with yeah, this. I can imagine how <laughs> satisfied you are. And then we're gonna use the Saga to cast the cage. Damn, all right, yeah. Uh, and I want to use Karn. I'm not quite sure what for, but I'll just... Uh, Animate nothing. So you plus it, but without animating anything? Yeah. Right. So it goes to four? That is correct. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll take turn. my second board encounter. From here on, it's just basically cruising to victory. You want to draw something useful? Put it away. We draw something bad? Well, maybe we will ask. It's really just enjoying the victory here and making sure Jamin loses every single ounce of hope turn after. Actually, bef before I even take my draw, I'll take my third board encounter because mm -hmm. then you don't know what I'm drawing. <laughs> Could be surprising. All right, next game, next game. All right, so I wasn't quite aware of the board encounters, which I assume make the game way less fun for one of us, but I guess I'll take the victory. As always, we want to thank our sponsor, Karma Crow. They are the ones that provide the cards for recording these gameplay videos. They're a trusted power seller on card market for a while now, and they have all the cards you need. Yeah, if you need a deck for any tournament, any commander deck, you're probably just gonna find every card they ship it to you in less than three days. If you're in Germany and very quickly anywhere else, you can get all the flies, dices, play mats, tokens from card market directly, pretty much anything you're gonna ever need. Yeah, so uh, for all your Magic the Gathering needs, go check out Karma Crow and thanks for sponsoring this video. All right, sideboarding. Honestly, there's nothing really I want or need. We have the Leyland of Sanctities, which are not really useful. I don't think he's targeting me at all. And we have the Dolly Voidwalker, which not only don't seem really doing anything, they also just die to Storm from Bonecrusher Giant. So I'm not very excited to body any of those in, but I do have cards I really want to take out, namely the Cage and maybe even the Pithing Needle, which I'm not quite sure it has a target or not, but the Cage definitely. So I'm just gonna board in some of the artifacts that I might tutor with Karn, and that's gonna be just because I kinda want to draw them, but I don't want to tutor for them. Okay, so the Bone Crusher Giants really suck, and Force of Vigor is really good. So that's good news. The bad news is we don't really have a lot more going on. Maybe one or two Blood Moons could be in consideration, but for now, we'll leave it at this. Uh, this one is another close one, but I'll keep, I'll keep. And I'll go first. Also. This hand, once again, 
doesn't do a lot proactively, but it does have force of vigor and interaction. So I might stop Toffel from locking me out too quickly, which will then give me time to draw my interaction. <laughs> so do you keep your hand? Yes, you will. All right. So my hand this time is actually perfect. I have two of the saga, I have two mills effect, I have a bridge, I have another land, and I'm just gonna play out really smoothly over the tokens because I don't think he's going to pressure me at all that quickly. Even so, I can make the tokens big enough to block all the shenanigans like crashing rhinos and charges agents and bunkers or whatever. He's not going to kill me. And then over the time, the saga gets the land of inside. We're gonna put up the mill. Everything's gonna be great. I've, got, an, I've got an exciting start. It's, it's a trial. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead. So I assume. I'm definitely gonna play this. All right. And then we're gonna play an Ancient Stones. Okay, sure. I'm gonna choose a Swamp. Right, Very that, strong. That, that one doesn't even look for artifacts or something. What an underpowered land, Tuffle. Sometimes you do need lands. My turn? Yes, please. All right, untap. I will draw. Ooh. Hmm, I don't like ooze. I'll play an island and pass. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Gonna draw. All right, I picked up a second Force of Vigor. Even if Toffel somehow protects his artifact, you know, I can get rid of any bridge I want or the Lantern of Insight, whatever I feel is the most important at the moment. We gotta start off with a bang. And in this case, a bang is a Pixis of Pandemonium. All right. So you can you can uh, sack it for seven and then everybody gets the permanence there. Oh, under. okay, eat their own. So we, right. we exile face down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew that. All right. All right. And because everybody's favorite card, we're gonna play another saga. Or the saga. All right. And then we're gonna use the saga to cast a codex. All right. You can you can mill us a lot. I know. I know. And then I'm also gonna play a welding jar. That's just rude. Last because professional. And it's your. Okay. Card. At this point, it's kind of interesting. I only have the two mill artifacts. I'm not quite sure who to mill. I'm pretty sure that using the pixels is basically just for fun, there's a decent shot that I can actually activate it for seven mana and put like a lot of permanents into play. And since his permanents aren't really threatening, I can see piling up on the pixels if I have nothing to do. But usually I don't think it's a big advantage. The other card that actually mills for one, the Codex Shredder, is interesting because there are two applications we can use here. We can mill Jamin to remove cards via extraction and actually see what's going on. Or we can mill ourselves because we can get the artifacts back later via Khan and the Crucible of Worlds or the land that puts the artifacts back on top. You go. All right. Uh, I guess, yeah. I will exile it first. Okay, sure. Let's, <laughs> let's exile the top cards of our library. That was just for fun. Yeah, of course it was. So do I get to draw? Yes, please. I do get of to Of course. Draw. Why would I interrupt you? That one. <laughs> yeah. I'll play Misty Rainforest. Yes. And I will suspend a crashing mm. Mm. So in about four turns, yeah, in you about get four turns, the mighty there's... value of two four fours. Exactly. Yes. Uh, Very good. And then it's your turn. I'm gonna mill you. Sure. It's a fire ice. Mm. All right, and tap. And then we're gonna draw. So in the end, I did decide to mill Jamin, mainly because I kind of want to see what he boarded, maybe see some cards. Did he board like crazy stuff like Shatterstorm or whatever? Also, I kind of see what's going on with what his hand. If I mill like uh, so, like a cryptic command, I can put one of those cards. That's an aggression. I think milling him is cool. Also, I think he's going to be annoyed by it. This is going to two. Sure. And pretty sure we're just not going to do anything. I'll just play this swamp, and it's your turn. I'll untap. This one goes to three time counters, mm -hmm. and I will draw. I'll play a Scalding Tarn. And I will pass the turn. So end of turn, I will then mill you. Okay. Hmm. I'm still quite sure that doing this is Either good or fun, so we're gonna All right. do it. It's fun either way, that's true. And then we're gonna make a, a construct, construct yeah. which is right now a 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Untap, draw, yes. And then before doing this, we're gonna make another one. So you're creating another construct? 
I created a contract and now this is wants to Yeah, this this will cert I assume it gets a lantern of inside. Well, how would you actually know that? It's like you're a very mighty magician. Okay, so these constructs, uh, they really don't line up well against my force of figure because Toffle only played a land and I have to spend my spell only to deal with those constructs caused by the lands? That's unfair. So we're making tokens. Not just some tokens, a lot of tokens. It's crazy. I don't think he's gonna really survive this. I mean, he has some blockers and like, he can bounce them, but. He has major problems dealing with the tokens and also dealing with the artifacts like the Land of Insight. So he can choose probably either one of those, but not both. So I'm pretty fine with anything. And in this point in time, I think because all of this was really a lot of fun, we're gonna do it again. Of course. Oh, where's the saga? It's so strong. And we'll cast a Codex Shredder. Okay. And then we'll move to attacks. Sure. As I promised, I'm gonna do a lot of attacking. All right, so before blocks, I will crack the Misty Rainforest. I'll get a forest and mm -hmm. we'll check the top card of my library. Mm -hmm. It's a force of negation, so... Fetch it away, fetch it away. Um, I guess it, it doesn't really matter, so I'll fetch again. I'll go down to 18 overall. I'll get an untapped steam vent. Baby, don't hurt me. I'll reveal the top card, Fire Eyes, and then I'll cast a Force of Bigger targeting the Lantern and a Shredder. He's kind of missing the real point of just dying to the tokens. So my question is now, do I want you to draw the Fire Eyes, which I assume is kind of not what I really care about. It is somewhat a redraw which I don't want you to have, and I'm not using it anyway, so I will mill you for one. Okay, so the next card is another crashing football. Come on! Cool. All right, uh, and then I will protect the Lantern of Insight with the Welding Jar. Okay, so and now this the, is gonna resolve. This is gonna resolve. And it will tap my Lantern of Insight. Yeah. So then I'll take five. This is absolutely correct. So I'm down to 13. And you may go ahead. Alright, I'll untap this one, just the two. And I'm graciously allowing you to draw this. Wow, spell. that's so... You put it in your deck, it's a so, spell. So you know? generous. Thank you. Alright, I'll put that into my hand. Another Fire Eyes, they keep coming. I will pass the turn. Alright, end of turn, I'm gonna make the Fire Eyes go disappear. So. And that's, ooh, I love that. All right, untap everything. Not gonna use the pixels because I really want to draw the bridge, which I'm gonna do. And ooh, I'm gonna put the saga on too. I know there's a card on top and I could take it away with the ancient stirrings, but if I really would want to have it, I can just draw it next turn. So. It's kind of a decision, do I want to play the Ancient Stirrings here and find like a one mana artifact or am I accepting Karn as the draw step for next turn and keep it for later? And let's cast Ancient Stirrings. Okay. So you see the first one and not the other ones because they're mine. And I will take a card. So, so you basically just drew a card. Yeah, I mean, I would have hoped for something better, but this is also fine. We're gonna play Glimmer White and sure. then move to attackers. Yeah, don't you want to cast the bridge before combat? It makes your construct bigger. Attack for more damage. He is right. Attack. All right, I'll take 10. No. I I'm not blocking. All right, and I will think. <laughs> <laughs> So I could get you down to one. You could get me down to one if you create another construct. Right? But there's actually no real dif like difference between three and one, I assume, ish. So I'm actually very fine with those. <sighs> and you already <laughs> took the pen, so it counts. <laughs> <laughs> Just take 10, go right. down to three. And it's absolutely your turn. It's absolutely my turn, jeez. At end of turn, I guess I will flash in subtlety. Okay, uh, I'll untap. One more reason to not have corn. Can I draw this gemstone mine? Wow. Am no. I allowed to? All right. Put that into my hand. I will play that. Mm -hmm. 
And then... Don't I guess it's your turn. You really don't feel like doing much, eh? Yeah, I don't feel like doing much. The question is now, do I really want to build a snowman? Mm, I will mill the fetch land. Sure. Postpone that. Ooh. More bone crusher giants! More bone crusher giants make Then it definitely we will make a construct. Okay, okay. And I'm kind of assuming that stuff happens here because those constructs are pretty good. Go ahead, go ahead. At this point, I think we have pretty much everything set up. There are tokens on the one side, they're all the good for artifacts on the other side. The only thing I'm really, really afraid of is something really abstract like Shatterstorm, something that destroys all my artifacts. Uh, besides that, I don't think even like multiple removal spells or borrowers or cryptic commands can get him out of here. We're gonna draw this. Look at the top card. It's an ancient stirrings. Um, so then, or the saga triggers? And we're definitely gonna make another one. Sure. Oh, so many constructs. All right, uh, then main phase, this is gonna go. All right, I will get a code extra there. Sure. It is already in play. We're gonna show you the top card of my deck. And then I would like to go to combat. Uh, okay, so these Force of Vigories were reserved for Toffle's lock pieces, but now I kind of have to spend them only not to get attacked to death by constructs. That's not how I envisioned this game to go either. So before you attack, I would like to tap one of the constructs that can attack and draw a card. Um, I'm not fine with this. Cast another Force of Vigor, exiling Crashing Footfalls. Must be nice. Yeah, must be nice. <laughs> and I'll target uh, Lantern of Insight and one of the constructs. Hmm. Um, then I'm gonna take away the borrower. Sure. Definitely gonna take away the Cryptic Command. The subtleties could have been good against Karn, but they're not very good against Construct Beatdown. So you targeted this and the Construct, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, so one of them is dead. And this is exiled, you said? No, no, oh, no this, this is just destroyed. Uh, destroyed. Yeah. Construct is gone, one is still attacking. And then I guess I have to chump block that Construct token. Works for me. All right. Then show me. Uh, in response, I'll Bone Crusher Giant to you. Me. So that one is on an adventure. And then I'll show you another subtlety. Not very subtle. So this is exiled and this is adventure. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Uh, mm, I missed. Yeah. Sad. All right. Uh, so at this point, you're at three. Yeah. You know what? It's your turn. Wow. Graceful. <laughs> uh, this one goes to one. And then mm -hmm. I'll draw this one. And then I'm dead. Yeah. Good games. Thank you. <laughs> Is there like an anti-boredom counter where I can put it myself? <laughs> that you just win? Yeah, because it's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Those Urza Saga, man, they put out way too much damage way too quickly. Yeah. How am I going to deal with 8-8 tokens? Well, obviously you don't. Yeah, I but didn't. E even if you do. I mean, you tried the other thing and then... Yeah, and then I get locked out of the game. That's fun. Yeah, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, that's very fun. Well, I mean, it was fun. And if you enjoyed Jamil getting beaten up as I did, click and subscribe and there's going to be more of this. Yeah, there's gonna be a video every week, and if you wanna see any specific decks on next week's episode, then you just go into the comments, comment the deck that you wanna see. For example, we picked those decks from the comments of last week, and then we might play that next week. Anyways. Yeah. Even if the deck, if you're the only one, Lantern Control was uh, submitted by one person, I said, you're the hero. Yeah, I picked he, he picked that one. Yeah. All right, and that's it for this week, so we'll see you next week. <laughs> that was very weak. <laughs> Come on. <laughs>